Hello, what's going on? Um, yeah, this is a video that I've been debating about whether or not I even wanted to make. Uh, haven't made a video on this channel in a long, long time. Um, but I think this is something I kind of wanted to document and preserve. Maybe somebody will get something out of it. If not, it's something that, I don't know, I can look back on in the future. My kids can look back on in the future. Um, so anyway, I forget where I left off on this on this channel what my last videos was as far as my health was concerned um it was i was diagnosed with i uh, can't remember exactly when this was um it was last summer this is the right now the fall beginning of the fall 2023 um so this would have been the summer of 2022 um by chance it, it was uh, discovered that i had an aortic root aneurysm um which kind of caught everybody by surprise because I don't have a family history of it and I don't smoke. So those are pretty much the big indicators as to you know, how people get these things. Uh, and I didn't have, I don't have either, either of those. So they don't really know why um, I have this. Um, so the course of action at that point in time was to monitor it. Uh, so eight months later, which would have been the eight months from my first CT scan. I'm not going to get into all the details, but uh, back in August of this year, uh, they checked it again, and they found that it had grown about a millimeter. So it grew about a millimeter in eight months. And that now puts me, that, that, that puts it at, at five centimeters, which puts me now in the uh, threshold for having surgery performed. So they, so it's been determined I'm going to have surgery. Uh, I'm slated for surgery in about six weeks. Um, and it is full open heart surgery. They open it up, open you up, take out that part of the aorta, replace it, and close you back up. Typically, as I understand it, the valve has to be replaced at the same time because what happens is the aorta stretches the valve and you know, the aorta expanding stretches the valve and the valve, um, can become leaky. Uh, you can have backflow. They're telling me that that's not the case with me. My valve is working perfectly fine, which is good. Um, because now I said, I'm a perfect candidate for, um, valve. Oh, I forget they, they have a technical name for it, but basically what it is is they go in, they replace the aorta, but they leave the valve, which I'm happy about because I don't want to, because they're, they're, if they replace the valve, they'd have to put a mechanical valve in, and I'd be on blood thinners the rest of my life, which I don't want. I mean, nobody wants it, but, uh, so, yeah, that's where we are. Uh, as far as symptoms, I don't know that I really have any, um, and I, I don't know that most people do. The one thing that I have noticed is that if I'm, after a certain amount of exertion, or like if I'm like bending down, crouching down for periods of time, not necessarily even long periods of time, I end up um, having these bouts of dizziness, like extreme dizziness. Like I feel like I'm going to pass out and I'll have to go and you know, sit down because I, I feel like I'm going to crash. Um, and I've heard that, oh no, the, an, an aneurysm wouldn't cause that. But I've also read that there's some studies out there to suggest that yeah, it can. So, I don't know. Uh, I've never had that issue before. I don't know how long I've been, I've had this, um, but, uh, but I, 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 I think the two are related. I guess we'll find out after it gets replaced. Um, I guess one of the reasons I wanted to do this video though is I, I kind of want to document my path back to normalcy post-surgery. Um, something I, I don't think I've ever said on this channel is I, I was a distance runner. I was I had been doing marathons. I'd done 10, I think, roughly 10 for between the years of 2015-2018. Um, and I would like to get back into that. I miss doing it, and I haven't been able to. Uh, they said I can run with the aneurysm. The thing is, I just don't feel well like when I run for too long, it just doesn't, it just doesn't feel right. And maybe it's psychosomatic. I don't know, but 
that's that's kind of where we are. I, I like I said I want to document that trip back. Might be might be of value to some people who are maybe going through the same thing. Uh, I've read very recently about a uh, about a runner who was a, qualified for the Boston Marathon, and he had I think it was like five months from the time that he had his aneurysm surgery till the time he had to run Boston. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not doing anything like that. Uh, I'm not a good marathon runner. I'm a just finished marathon runner, and I'm happy with that. That's where I want to be. Uh, I'm not worried about time. I really don't care. I know a lot of people do. I don't. I just, I just like the races are fun. Um, but that's it. Just kind of wanted to maybe reinvigorate my channel. Not that anybody, not that anybody ever watched it to begin with. Um, but I'm gonna put some stuff out there. All kinds of it's mishmash of stuff. Just sort of, I don't know, documenting things. Something to do. I'm gonna treat it like a hobby. Uh, not that I, that's actually I have so many hobbies. I don't need another one. But I don't know. Something fun to do. But yeah, if you have, if you happen to see this, have questions. Maybe you're going through something similar. Um, Leave a comment or something. I'll try to, I'll try to respond, answer questions, whatever. It's not something I expected to be going through at 45 years old, but it is what it is. I'm just thankful they found it. If they didn't, I could just be walking along and just keel over one day, and that would suck. So that's it. I need to figure out some kind of a sign off for these videos. Anyway, <laughs> take it easy.